Simon Johnson, how big and dangerous is the national debt? We've heard lots of facts and figures. What's the truth? Well, the, the national debt held by the public right now is about $10.8 trillion. Half of it's held by foreigners. It's about 73% of GDP at the moment. It's big, and it's big, and it's growing. We need to deal with it. We need to deal with it now. We don't have a financial panic. We, we, don't, we shouldn't rush inappropriately fast to deal with it, but we have to get going. Who has the best plan out there to solve this problem? Is it President Obama? Is it Mitt Romney? Is it Paul Ryan? In your view, who has the best plan? I don't like any of those plans. <laughs> Seriously, I, I think that President Obama is not taking this, not, not doing, not proposing to do enough. I think Mitt Romney's uh, projections and in, in his proposal on where the debt will go are, are rather dangerous, up to Italian levels. And, and Paul Ryan is not putting enough thought into what would happen to healthcare costs in the broader economy if he cuts or transforms Medicare in the way that he's proposing. I don't think we should take these political proposals as is. We need to push back and just say, look, here's what we need to do to bring debt down relative to GDP, and that's, that's our proposals, and here's a mix of spending containment and revenue boosting measures that will actually do it. My book is not going to win any popularity contest. There's no question about that. These are hard truths. This is not what the politicians want to tell you. In the book, you give the Johnson plan. Why don't you give me the Johnson plan for solving the national debt? The Johnson plan is mostly, frankly, about revenue. Yes, we should raise payroll tax, we should have people retire a little bit later, and we should try and control Medicare costs. But most of what we've done in this country is undermine our revenue base. We've done it systematically since 2000 with the Bush tax cuts, and we did it massively with the financial crisis since 2008. You need to put revenue back into the equation. And relative to other people who claim to be centrist, we are much more about revenue, and frankly, we're much more about slightly somewhat higher taxes, put taxes back to where they were in the mid-1990s. Again, not going to win the popularity contest. These are the hard truths. Vice President Dick Cheney famously said that deficits don't matter. Was he right? Was he wrong? He, he was wrong, but he obviously had a point, which is that if you're the United States and you have the U.S. dollar and the world sees U.S. Treasury securities as the safe haven, then you have a lot of time. We've been messing around one way or another with our debt and our deficits since the early 1980s, and we have not yet been called to account. We've had a 30-year bull market in, in U.S. bonds. Terrific, but it's not going to last forever. U.S. interest rates are not going to stay this low indefinitely. We have a window of opportunity. Get working on fixing the budget. Don't extend uh, the Bush-era ta Bush tax cuts would be one proposal. Let's get, go let's get going. Well, how much time do we have? We see what the bond vigilantes are doing in Greece and Spain. How much time do we have? Are we in danger of becoming the next Greece? And if so, how long will it take? Well, we're not Greece, and we're not going to become Greece, and nor are we the United Kingdom, and, and we're not going to have austerity forced on us by, by, by other countries or, or what happens around the world. This is up to us. This is a, about our level of responsibility, and it's about the, the attitude of international investors. They will be, no doubt, favorably disposed towards the United States in the future, but not this favorably. You can't expect interest rates to stay this low for an indefinite period of time. I don't know when the, the tipping point comes, when you, there's a, a crisis or, or really pressure. That's why we have to act now. What will the signal be for that tipping point? Will it be a bad, uh, bad uh, treasury auction, the Chinese sit one out? Well, it won't be one auction, but yes, it'll be in the bond market and it'll be uh, in the long-term interest rates. They will start to move up. Will they move fast? Will they move slowly? Hard question to answer. Um, Rudy Dornbusch, a uh, former late uh, lamented professor at MIT, liked to say with regard to crisis, it always takes longer than you think and it always happens eventually much faster than you could have imagined. This market is stock tickers market. Stocks have rallied this year. We're coming into a Monday where we're getting